traveling elementary art teachers. You'd go from school to school every different day. So on a Monday, you might be at one school, Tuesday at a different school, and you really didn't get to know the kids. Mm. Uh, you didn't have time. You go in and teach your classes, and you're on to a new school. Now there are four schools. One is called the Worcester Arts Magnet uh, Elementary School, and there are four schools that are full-time art and music. And I think that number will grow in the next, in the f next few years. Uh, I think a lot of it's due to the, the, uh, the override of Proposition 2 and a half by the Worcester voters to, to allow the money to stay in the Worcester Public Schools. So I, I, have a, I have hope for the future for the, for the Worcester Public Schools. Well, I think we've got to have hope for the future in every way. Uh, our education, our schools, uh, our environment. Uh, I, I think, you know, the very practical mention of the careers, I, I think sometimes maybe uh, if there's a, a tight budget and money scarce, you know, uh, people might say, well, you know, art and music are a luxury for children. True, they get private lessons. I'll, I'll send them for private, yes. And uh, we've got to do the math and the reading mm -hmm. and the writing. And, and yes, but uh, I, I really, and I know you feel this way, and, and I do too, that, that there is an equality of all of these things. The, the child who has the gift of talent in the arts, and it never gets uncovered, it never gets nurtured, um, may get the basic education, but may end up in a job the rest of their lives that they're not suited for, they're not best at, they're not happy with. And, and I think that's, that's what can happen when we don't expose children, when we don't give them a, a broad wide, view. broad view, right. and then let them kind of narrow it down as they get older. I think we've got to just uh, afford to give our children a broad view, including the arts in the beginning. One other thing I'd like to mention, uh, as far as the, the junior high and high school, there is a program in Worcester which is called the Arts Magnet at Burnco. And they have theater, dance, drama, music, and visual arts. And it's all as a group, along with all the rest of their academics. And it's a very, very strong program in the city of Worcester, and it's working out very well. And it's a seventh, eighth, ninth, right up to twelfth grade program where the students can specialize in, if they want to do jazz, ballet, they, can, they have dance. If they want to do theater where they put on plays, they do. If they want to take up an instrument, they can. Or if they want to get into the visual arts, they also can. Well, you know, I've seen so many adolescents that uh, really blossom when they discover theater, the class play, whatever it be, whether it be the, the acting role, the singing role, a part of it, uh, they are in. They're in a group. They're, they've got a common goal. They're good, even if it's being the stage. If they're good, if they're right. strong and they're part of it. If they don't have these things, uh, particularly the adolescent. We're gonna, that's going to be the last part of the series, the adolescent, but it's very hard for me, you know, I, I'm, we're talking about the child, but I'm always projecting ahead about the child's going to be a teen <laughs> soon, and, you know, you don't have forever. You've got to find mm -hmm. their niche. You gotta, so if, if this child who maybe isn't an athlete and maybe isn't an academic whiz with the usual subjects, but has the talent in the arts, whether it's art or music or theater or drama, whatever, if they discover that and they discover the joy of it and that they have talent for it and they become part of a group, so much better than to become, say, part of a group that's smoking pot every day after school. And yes, that's a group and they're part of that and they have that common bond, but when you think about the future, where each of those two groups are going... Uh, one's the positive and one's the negative. Oh, you know, how do you put a money value on, on uh, that? Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to, you can save millions by cutting back on the juvenile courts and probation officers and jails and police force. I if we can get children into good things that'll carry on into their junior high and high school and young adult that are good and that are positive and will keep them away from these other things that uh, are so negative and so destructive. And I, we found that up at, uh, at Burncoat that the, a lot of these, the students who are involved in the Arts Magnet program are the higher academic level student too. And they just, they're just involved. They're involved in student council, they're involved in the newspaper, they're involved in, in other things. And it's, it's a, like you said, it's a sense of belonging. They've, they've, they've found something they're good at and, and they've they found a little niche that they're very proud of. And they develop friendships 